Hello guys, this is Sana, welcoming you all to the YouTube channel of SPNIR Digital Cell of RSUE. Today, in the next episode of Crack It, we have with us a coding geek who is such a dynamic personality. So, no further deals, let's welcome Ashutosh Panda. He is in his final year and pursuing computer engineering from JSPM's Raja Shri Shahu College of Engineering, Tathavri. He is currently placed in Futurans with the package of 9.5 LPA. First of all, heartiest congratulations to you, Ashutosh, for your amazing placement. Thank you so much, yeah. Okay, this introduction is from my side. Is there anything else that you would like to add to this? I would add like, uh, I'm more into Forex trading and share market and I read a lot about finance nowadays. Like, uh, I'm, I'm more into trading and stuff. So this is this is my uh, go-to activity when I'm when I'm free also. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's it about. Me. Okay, yeah. that's great. So today we would be talking about your placement at Futurans, and over the conversation we will explore various aspects. So particularly starting from your placement, did you apply for both on-campus and off-campus placement? Yeah, I, I did apply for both off-campus and on-campus as well. And uh, I applied for off-campus off campus placements uh, through LinkedIn. And uh, if you, you know, if you develop your profile in LinkedIn, also companies would approach you and uh, they will just look at your profile and approach you. They, their HR will send you a message or so. It's like it happened with me. So that's why I do, I do develop your LinkedIn profile. It will, uh, it will be very useful in the future, future run. Okay, sure. So yeah. coming towards the interview round, how many rounds were there in the interview process? Like uh, there were three three stages. The first was online assessments. Uh, in, in the OA, we, uh, like there were 15 MCQs, 15 technical MCQs. There were no aptitude questions asked in those MCQs. And after that, uh, there were two programming questions, I guess. Yeah, two programming questions. And after that, there were two uh, SQL questions, query writing. And the level of the assessment was of medium level, medium, yeah, medium level, I would say. And, uh, and after the online assessment, uh, they will made you for the technical interview round. And uh, after the tech, if, if you clear the technical round, they will probably made you for the HR, HR round. So uh, there were three stages uh, in the process, yeah. Okay, so can you tell us what type of questions were asked in the technical round? Okay, so initially, uh, nine no no not ninety seventy to seventy five percent of the questions for uh, from my resume, and uh, my resume was filled with data science and all. So and he was also a data guy. So he asked more about the my resume, and uh, he also gave two uh, two problem solving questions. Like he he wrote the code and asked me to predict, thing, and I did so. Asked, so asked me two puzzles. And uh, I enjoyed the process of the puzzle wala thing. And I would tell you if, if you are uh, if you are doing a problem solving question in the technical interview, so it's better to think loudly and silence nahi hona chahiye dono ke beech mein. Technical interviewer or jo aap de rahe ho, tumhare beech mein silence nahi hona chahiye. So if you are if you are trying to solve a problem, may it be any approach, just think loudly and you are uh, good to go. Yeah. Okay. So. What type of questions were asked in the HR round? Like HR round was, uh, he just asked me about why future and why, why this company and like, what are your strengths and weaknesses and all. He, he was, he was just checking my confidence and like, uh, the communication skill if a candidate has or, or like, like that. And, uh, it, it was good. Like he was just, uh, into knowing my personality and my attitude towards the industry and all. So it was HR, HR easy, HR ho jai. Technically, uh, hard with yeah. Okay. So how would you rate the difficulty level of the questions in both TR and HR round? Okay. Technic, apna, uh, difficulty level of TR uh, was, I would say, medium. It was of medium level because uh, it lasted for around one and a half hour, I guess. So it was of medium level. And, and HR round was easy. Okay, as you mentioned mm -hmm. that most of the questions were asked based on your resume. This means resume mm -hmm. plays a very important role in any interview. 
So, uh, what efforts you took to build your resume? Yeah, like like I built my uh, resume on this website called Canva, and there are many template templates available over there. And I chose one and I built my resume over there. And uh, I would just say this thing that don't ever lie on your resume by using buzzwords and jargons and all. Because if the interviewer is one among them, like like if if you if you wrote you are uh, a DevOps enthusiast, and you have done only one webinar in DevOps, so and if the interviewer interviewer is a DevOps specialist, and you'll be screwed up, and you you won't you you won't be able to answer any of the questions uh, that 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 is of uh, the technology DevOps. So don't ever lie on your resume, and you are good to go. Just just be yourself on your resume, and you are good to go. it must look attractive though yeah so uh, moving forward what are the different pro- programming languages that you completed and when did you start preparing for each one of okay so uh, after 12th i added my c language a course from from a class or so but it was of just i only went there for like 10 to 15 days i didn't eventually learn completely and in my first year i uh, i learned c language and uh, in the lockdown i learned c++ and python and like uh, I, i was serious about programming 2 to 3 months past placement like do se teen maine pehle placement ke do se teen maine pehle i was quite serious about programming i like i solved many questions on hacker rank and all so yeah that that's it Okay, so uh, were there any competitions like hackathon and coding competitions that you participated in, and you would recommend others to do so? Yeah, I would highly recommend uh, students to participate in a hackathon because uh, it does it, it is very productive to be honest. Because I participated in this hackathon of Smart India hackathon, I guess, and it was very productive. We had meetings every day, and there were seniors with uh, with uh, in our team also, and uh, the sessions were very productive, and we learned a lot uh, in the process. And you you get the prize or not, but the process is uh, very very productive. So okay. So, yeah. what are the different website, books, or other resources that you would uh, recommend the students for developing their coding skills? Okay, for Python, I would recommend this guy called named Telusco. He is way too good. Uh, he's way too good, and he teaches Python very well. And uh, I would also recommend this guy named uh, Corey Schaffer. He's on YouTube, and like I, I, fo- I followed these two channels uh, to learn Python. and for c++ you could uh, you could watch simple snippets ka channel ki matlab uske uske bahut playlists hai ek c++ ka hai and ek data structures ka hai so aapka dono cover ho jayega and bahut acha seekha jata hai wo like uh, sab samajh mein aa jata hai simple simple snippets for c and c++ and uh, for python uh, telesco and college of and to practice coding like to practice python c c++ You might use various uh, programming like uh, various platforms such as Hacker Rank, Lead Code, Code Sub Code, Forces, and all. And to practice SQL, I would suggest uh, Lead Code. And uh, there's this website called SQL Zoo, I guess. So that is good. Okay, this will surely help a lot of students. Uh, mm-hmm. So talking about your projects, could you throw some light on what were the projects you made and how important projects are uh, in an interview? ओके सो हर एक इंटरव्यू में ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकता कि प्रोजेक्ट्स के बारे में पूछा ना हो सो प्रोजेक्ट्स को थरली रीड करो मतलब थरली समझ के लो एंड एंड ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि आपको बस आपने बस प्रोजेक्ट किया और आपको डीप में नहीं पता प्रोजेक्ट क्या किया है आपने सो प्रोजेक्ट्स को डीपली अंडरस्टैंड करो क्योंकि हर इंटरव्यू में अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट कितने प्रोजेक्ट किए माइनर प्रोजेक्ट कौन सा था तेरा मेजर प्रोजेक्ट मेजर प्रोजेक्ट कौन सा है क्या कर रहे हो तुम उसमें पूरा डीप जाता है प्रोजेक्ट्स में तो आपका टेक्निकल स्किल्स भले हो बट प्रोजेक्ट्स को कॉम्प्रोमाइज मत करो इंटरव्यू के पहले क्योंकि 101 परसेंट वो प्रोजेक्ट्स में जाएगा ही जाएगा इंटरव्यू तो डोंट कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड एंड मेक्स पर टू मतलब अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट करने का ट्राई करो तो बहुत रिसोर्सेस है एंड जस्ट थोड़ा सा ट्वीक करके अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट हो सकता है तो सो वर्क हार्ड ऑन योर प्रोजेक्ट एंड यू आर गुड टू गो ऑन इंटरव्यू 
Okay, so can you would you be able to tell that what projects you made? Yeah, like uh, I I made this project named terrorism analysis with insights uh, with forced technologies. I was intern over there, and I also made uh, many exploratory data analysis projects uh, in Python. Just sample superstore data set kind of project and uh, IPL data set kind of project uh, in Spark in the Sparks Foundation company. So that's it. Uh, I turned with I guess uh, five companies, five different companies in my lockdown. So like uh, starting from uh, Influnk, Influnk was the first one. Then after that, KMITL, which came into our, into our college, and after that, I guess Blue Out Technologies. Post technologies and the Sparks Foundation. Yeah, these were the companies in which I've interned. Okay, that's great. So, how do you think working as an intern helped you? Yeah, like uh, internship. Me, ऐसे ही मत करो कि बस task complete कर दिया, project complete कर दिया और बस. In like, मैंने in मैं मैंने मेरे internship में बहुत लोगों से connect किया LinkedIn. I increased my connections uh, through LinkedIn, and it helped me a lot. to be honest and like connect with people connect with same mindset people connect with techies and all you will get to know a lot about what goes on into the in it industries so uh, internship mein bas kaam karke chhod do aisa mat karo connections badhao connections connections will eventually help in the long run right so connections linkedin mein badhao and linkedin mein active raho jyada instagram se linkedin mein jyada active active raho okay so इंटर्नशिपनेज हो it is it's very easy to manage it. just just reduce the time you are scrolling uh, on instagram and just spend that time uh, to upskill yourself so it is okay so so how was your college life and journey at rsu okay. it was good it was good until lockdown happened and the offline part was very cool and like the teachers were very supportive in every aspect and like uh, there were many, there are many events to participate on and college life was good but then unfortunately lockdown happened and and fir to baki sab ghar pe to fir wahi boredom chalu so in the first year it was cool until lockdown first year and thoda second year ka it was cool Like we we participated in innovation, I guess innovation some contest, I guess, and there are many cultural activities which motivate uh, the students, and th- there are many hackathons going on in our college, uh, many clubs, coding club, entrepreneurship development club, there are many clubs to take part on. Yeah, so uh, th- this th- this was good. Like college life was good until lockdown happened. Yeah. Okay. so any yeah. mistakes that you made in your college life or any experience that you would like to share yeah i'd like to share like the mistake which i did was i didn't start early jab hit hua tabhi start kiya like just just start early and be consistent you can crack any of the companies it's not that you couldn't crack like maine kabhi socha nahi tha mere ko uh इतना बड़ा पैकेज मिल सकता है आई थॉट ओके एक एक से दो ऑफर मिलेंगे तीन चार लाके दैट वुड बी दैट विल बी गुड बट बट इवेंचुअली इफ इफ यू आर कंसिस्टेंट एंड इफ यू डिवोट योरसेल्फ यू कैन क्रैक एनी कंपनी मे बी अ फैंग और मे इट बी फैंग और सो सो बी बी कंसिस्टेंट एंड स्टार्ट अर्ली मैन स्टार्ट अर्ली इट इट विल हेल्प यू इन द लॉन्ग रन लाइक uh like first year se agar aap chalu karo systematically and schedule wagera lagao and har din kuch na kuch to productive karo to of course third year tak you will be of course second year last tak nahi to third year tak you will be perfect for placements and you could always apply for internship through linkedin and there are many platforms to apply upon so internship and all so be consistent and start early yeah okay.
lastly what message would you like to give uh, to the viewers especially the budding engineers yeah, so i would i would just tell them to be consistent be hard working and like uh, help others and eventually they they will help you too and like helping others is a good thing like don't give this ego wala thing help others be consistent uh, hard working raho and increase like linkedin profile develop karo and linkedin is a very powerful tool to be honest because i had got a company straight from linkedin their hr approached me to uh, to take the interview of me and like ऐसे भी होता है कि कंपनीज भी अप्रोच करती है आपका बस लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल देख के सो कुछ नहीं हुआ लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल देख के भी अप्रोच हो सकता है तो लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल बढ़ाओ कनेक्शन बढ़ाओ कनेक्ट विद सेम माइंड सेट पीपल कनेक्ट विद वेरियस टेक्ज दे आर देर आर मेनी यू नो लिंक्ड इन इन्फ्लुएंस लिंक्ड इन इन्फ्लुएंस अवेलेबल इन देर एंड लाइक कनेक्ट विद मोर मोर एंड मोर पीपल इंक्रीज योर कनेक्शन लाइक मैं तो वीक में कनेक्ट मतलब कनेक्शन uh, रिक्वेस्ट एक लिमिट होता है वो लिमिट तक कनेक्ट करते जाता था लाइक like, बहुत कनेक्शन करता था मैं एंड एक्टिव रहो पोस्ट करो बस लाइक इफ लाइक यूज इट लाइक इंस्टाग्राम इंस्टाग्राम को अगर दो घंटा यूज कर तो इसको आधा घंटा तो यूज करो लिंक को सो या सो डू दिस थिंग या ओके thank you so much ashutosh it it was such a great session and pleasure talking to you all the best for your future and viewers thank you thank you so much all the best to you all too yeah okay.